Hi, it's Toft Cabbage Adventures and this is our second day of our three day long trip here in the Badachun region. Today we are exploring the neighboring area, starting with Sigliget, which has that funky little castle ruins up there on top. So we're gonna go and hike up there and after that we're gonna get some nice ice creams and take a look around in this wonderful little town. Then once we explore this area, we will go and check out another mountain nearby. So come and join us on today's adventure. Here's the plan for today. We'll go to nearby town of Sigliget, where we will visit the castle ruins located on top of a hill. Then we'll make our way over to St. George Mountain, where we'll grab some lunch and enjoy the nice view, followed by hiking all the way up to visit some very unique geological objects. And finally, we'll head back home, do some wine tasting at the place we stay, and close the day with some excellent food. Now as you make your way up here, you will see some small castle statues. And these are actually the castles which were in the neighborhood, in this area. But this one is in the best condition, even though it's still a ruin. So, look, this is it. This castle is around 800 years old and they have recently renovated it. You can see that there's probably some programs here uh, that you can check out. But to be honest, it's the view. The view is just amazing. I'm pretty sure that after this uh, three day long trip, my bum will be made out of steel. Now back there, you see the Badachoy Mountain. So that's where we were yesterday. If you're interested in how that hike went, we had our previous video of day one. So this is day two. And now we are here and we actually viewed this place from there. And now you see that mountain over there. So that's the St. George or St. George Mountain. Once we get down from here and check out the neighborhood, then we're gonna go right there. Now this ice cream is amazing, but you should not get two scoops because look, it's, it's, it's insanely hard to eat it. Mm. All right, that's a nice cold brew. Regarding the two mountains that we have explored today and yesterday, Bodachoin, I think it was a better hike. The view wasn't, you know, as good as today. So today's pro is the view itself and how easy it actually is to get up to the castle ruins. And the view is just breathtaking. With Badachoin, it's a better hike. It's a more challenging hike, but you actually get wine much easier there. So which one is the better? I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe leave a comment below and tell us. Night, night. So we're actually using a car to get around the neighborhood and you can technically do the same by using the train or using the bus. But to be honest, most of the things will be more easily accessible if you have a car. That was excellent and the view all of it together with the food just brilliant i know i may say that a lot but that's the thing this is breathtaking the view the food everything and now 
with a full tummy, let's walk up to the chapel. I think I have found the most interestingly named winery. At least the cellar has a very interesting name. I don't think we're gonna visit that one. <laughs> I really like the buildings and uh, houses in this area. They really have this countryside, classic Hungarian countryside vibe, along with a little bit of a wine country vibe. They're really cool. I would love to have one one day with my own vineyard, sitting on the porch, watching Lake Balaton, drinking my own wine. So we just drove over to the other side of the mountain. From here, we will try to get to, not to the top, but to some very interesting geological formations. I hope we can get there because it may take an hour to get up there. And we are already tired. We didn't bring food. Aww. Hi. Hello. Good time. So while we take some rest here in the shade, let's have a fun fact time. So I, <laughs> so I told you guys already about the fact that this area had some volcanic activity back in the day. The mountains have actually some specific name from a geological perspective. Witness hills or witness mountains. We call them Tonuhegyek in Hungarian. And the reason for that is because their internal core um, is made out of very solid rocks. Uh, they have retained their shapes and their heights thanks to the fact that they're pretty much strong and hard on the inside. So that's why they have witnessed uh, centuries and they are witnessed hills. I guess that last part I made up. Probably that's the reason. That's where we're going, somewhere. If we gonna survive, will we? That is the big question. <sighs> Last stretch, boom. Well, what do you know? Even more stairs. Ooh, we're here, we survived. So these things are called basalt orgona, which is technically a instrument that has you know, a lot of pipes, the things that you see in churches and temples. Um, but it also looks kind of like a hand coming out from the ground. I don't know. It feels really like we, we climbed the giant here and, um, and these are the fingers of the giant. Yeah. Exciting, really cool, very dangerous, but very cool. By the way, if you're gonna hike, basically not just in Hungary, but anywhere in the world, I can highly recommend um, open street maps. There's some free versions of it and you can download some of the maps, but basically every single road, even dirt roads, little, um, pathways are available on this and a lot of them are actually not available on Google Maps and we've been using this as the application that guided us through our hikes today and we didn't get lost so that's a plus so this is the winery of the apartment complex itself with the room, basically, we have some tastings and no better way to basically end our day um, than getting some wine. Probably we will eat something afterwards. Cheers.
So this is my third wine of this wine tasting. And I think by this time, I'm feeling very good. Today was amazing and tomorrow is gonna be even more amazing, I guess. If I look back, you know, all the views that we had from the castle, the hike that we just took and seeing those very unique um, geographical structures, that was a hard word to say after three wines, yes, of course. Mm. All of that was brilliant, magnificent. How many words are there for these kind of things? I don't know. Nevertheless, I'm really looking forward for tomorrow and of course looking forward for the food that we will get after this. So you guys can get a glimpse of that, but at this point in time, all I want to say is subscribe to the channel so that you support me. Plus, you also get to see what we're going to do tomorrow. And again, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!